Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I've been MIA. Basically the last 13 days I've been working. January got super busy for me, but I'm back. I'm ready to get back onto the little rhythm wagon and get this show on the road. I got the squad coming to get me right now. Today is a big day for us. Today we're heading to the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show. Apparently it's the biggest show in all of the Pacific Northwest. I'm pumped up, I'm excited. I'm about to see hella shit, get all of it on film for you guys, show you guys around. I think I'm gonna bring out the bad boys today. <sighs> they fit like a glove. Oh my gosh. Because then you get on sale plus 20%. That's what I always do. Alright, what else can I get you guys? That's good. Maybe a little more coffee? Sure. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's so sick. Oh gosh, I don't know. Did, did you see any uh, any Jeeps you're gonna get? loud in here, but it's pretty sweet so far. Um, I hope to capture as many things as I can for you guys today, but it, it's just absolutely crazy in here right now. Yeah, right. You can't shoot until another hot. Hey, where'd you get? Did you do that? I might be able to. If you're good, so if you're going to hang for two minutes, you're going to look at them. All of them, they're, they're humongous. Washington state record. Look at this boat, dude. That truck's huge. See, Kim, look at this boat. It's got fucking six seats in it. What? Let's see how we take a picture by that big boat there and tell your mom we just bought this. <laughs> 242,000. Buy this wall tent. You just talk to your dad into buying a new one. A new wall tent? Yeah. I should. I still want to get on that one. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Haven't found WFO yet. Looking for some some liquor. All right. So apparently we're doing a little archery competition. Got it back there. Derek's up first, it looks like. He's doing a 
swell job, I can say. Maybe you shouldn't buy a bow. Good bow hunter, and my arm's all bruised up now, so that's awesome. That's why I hunt with a rifle, anyways. Bows are overrated. Field mode, you know. I wanted to get her done, you know, and so I killed this bull right here. shot that bull about 10 feet from my son Chad up front of the camera. He was walking straight at him. What's going on guys? So unfortunately my phone died last night. So while I was at the event there was a lot of cool stuff I wish I could have filmed but I feel like I got a lot of stuff right when I got there which is good. Um, it just it's unfortunate but it is what it is. I did happen to grab a lot of pamphlets and a lot of cool things and honestly I will want to go over a lot of that stuff with you guys but I truly think if you guys are interested in the outdoors, anything it may be, you should go to this event. It's so much fun. You don't have to spend any money. I mean, obviously you have to buy a ticket, but other than that, just go out there, have some fun, see some cool things. It's definitely an experience. So all the different like booths and things like that, they all have their own little thing going on. So honestly, I mean, trust me, I'd love to go on a, some type of guided fishing trip or some type of guided hunt, I'll shoot something really cool or catch some really exotic fish but it's not really in the budget <laughs> it's really expensive to go on these like guided trips and things like that although there are a couple of them I have in mind that I really want to do at some point in my life so after experiencing all these booths like I really decided probably if I was gonna do a guided some type of guided hunt it would probably be out of the country so the main like the coolest one to me was the safari hunt and before you freak out let me explain something to you so I'm not talking like lions and giraffes and zebras and anything that that's not what I want to do. It's like the the cool looking deer they have there. Um, there's a couple pictures in this little pamphlet that I got. I'll, I guess I can show you how that looks, but nothing crazy. Like there's like warthogs and stuff. Like so they have like big tusks, like, something like that. It's just kind of cool. It's like exotic, something that I definitely definitely wouldn't mind hanging above like a dining room table or something. So this would be like I think it's called a sable. Pretty cool looking. I'm not sure what this one is, but pretty cool looking, like super exotic horns and things like that. So besides that hunt, hunting like a safari area, there was a New Zealand hunt. So there's a couple hunts in New Zealand where basically there's like a bunch of different animals you can hunt. Uh, there's the red stag, which is the one that I was kind of looking at. It was, it's like a almost like an elk, but not an elk. It has like a little bit different horns, more non-typical. Then there's a fallow buck and a Sitka stag, which I don't know. I, don't, I think the fallow is pretty small, but I don't know about the Sitka stag. Seem like a pretty cool looking animals to definitely go after. And then there's a Himalayan mountain tahir or tari or tar tier. I don't know how to say it, but it's basically like a billy goat, but they're brown, so they're pretty cool looking. But I was more interested in the red stag hunt, that's for sure. One of the coolest things was there's a guy in a booth that I felt like I recognized, I didn't really know I, I, something about him, but I was asking him questions about his hunts and stuff, and I asked him where he did his like guided hunts for bear, and it was actually in my like a hometown, or close to my hometown, this like little small little town uh, called Forks. So uh, he's really good friends with my uncle, and uh, he knows my knew my dad, and it was just kind of crazy to see someone from our hometown, which is pretty far away from where the sportsman show was, but. Uh, he had some pretty good pictures of bear and stuff. That was pretty cool to know that he, he likes to hunt in literally our backyard, which is awesome. There's a couple of little kennels there, like some like cute dogs. Uh, 
hunting dogs, retrievers, things like that, um, pointer dogs. But it's like everything you could imagine was there, which is kind of crazy. You guys definitely need to check it out sometime. So this is just about everything I kind of took from there. Uh, there's a couple booths I didn't like. I thought I took more information from, but I just took their little business card. But that's okay. So this is kind of what I got from this show. But in the end, you know, I had a ton of fun just going on the trip, just kind of getting away from work and stuff. It's been so busy lately. This was a lot of fun for me just to get out there and kind of see all this stuff. Um, again, of course, I, I feel like I'd do more of a fishing trip than a hunting one just because fishing is typically not as expensive for one, but also the whole fact of hunting is something I, I like to do on my own. It's more fun for me. Like obviously I can't really go to like a different country and go hunting on my own. So I would have to kind of use a guide service for that. But other than that, um, you know, it was a ton of fun. I recommend it to everyone. If you guys have any questions about the show, you know, feel free to leave a comment, ask me anything. Questions about pricing and stuff like that. I have most of it here. It's pretty crazy, but, uh, you know, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Maybe next year when I go, bring a backup charger or something, get one of those portable chargers, and maybe have a little more money in my pocket instead of zero dollars. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.